What's good, everybody? It's your Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we are back with some more in the Mississippi State Athletic Director Dynasty here, man. And we are officially in Dolo basketball season, and we are coming off of a big win last episode. And let's take a look at how we fared in some of these matchups since. All right, boys, as you can see, we are 9-2 to start off this season. Lost our first game of the season. Blew out Notre Dame. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> we blew out Richmond. Then, you know, we lost UC Irvine, beat Buffalo. We blew out Notre Dame. That was a user play game. Then we came right back. We blew out Creighton. Well, beat Creighton by one. Excuse me. We didn't blow them out. But they're number 22 in the nation. Then we beat Fordham. Then we beat Dayton. Beat the hell out of them. Beat Maryland. Blew them out. Beat William and Mary, who's 1-10. We're supposed to win that game. And then just last game, we beat Charlotte. Now, you would think, right, Maryland was ranked number 25 when we beat them. Creighton's ranked number 22, and yet somehow at 9 and 2, we are still not ranked or getting love. Now, some things here with recruiting boys have changed as you are about to see. We went ahead, you know, we we we, we said we had got rid of all of, not got rid of all of our scholarships, but we offered all of our scholarships, and we found that one big man in Lawrence that we wanted to replace with Chan. And I thought we were going to be unable to make that happen, but I found out this game lets you rescind scholarship offers, and that's exactly what we did. Now, here we are on our current targets list. We had Abram Chan secured. We had him committed to the team, but we have since changed our mind. You can see we fell off of his top schools list. He's a little salty about that, but he has that poor discipline, which is making it hard for us to commit to him. He's, he doesn't really have good academics. They're definitely questionable. Then when you come over here to James Lawrence, now as you can see, James Lawrence has committed already. We offered him the scholarly. He's got good discipline. Also, Mr. Basketball nominee coming out of Louisiana, seven foot two thirty four. Athleticism is down a little bit compared to Chan, but you can see here there is no negative marks when it comes to this kid. And here's the reason why we want to kind of you know. Uh, get a little more strict on the type of players we bring in when it comes to discipline. We started this season with like 120 discipline points, boys, and we have had to discipline numerous players. As you can see right here, right now, Begley is being disciplined. He's sitting out 10 games, now nine games left because he broke a team rule. He was cheating on tests. He was receiving improper benefits. This is twice we had to suspend him, and our NCAA interest is up, and our team discipline is a D, and we can't afford to uh, have sanctions come down on us when we lose scholarships, tournament games, and can't play in the big dance. We are starting off with SEC play here in this episode. Let's take a quick look at the top 25. You got the Tar Heels, the Jayhawks, Gonzaga, uh, Ohio State, Florida, Boston College, Texas, Washington, UCLA, Arizona, Georgetown, Duke, Texas a and Wisconsin, UNC, Greenboro, uh, Air Force, Syracuse, Pitt, San Diego State, Memphis, uh, Virginia, Creighton, LSU, Georgia Tech, Oklahoma State. Take a look at the top division leaders right now. Kevin Durant at Texas is averaging 31 points per game in just 11 games. He is going absolutely nuts. If you see here, some of these names you guys might, you know, know and love and remember for some of the uh, guys who were doing their thing. Pat Bev is in this is 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 on this um is in this roster set and everything. It's all types of NBA players on this game right here right now. Take a look at our conference, man. Only Auburn and Arkansas have played conference games so far. Uh, you know what I mean because we are getting ready to play our game. We are we have one of the better records in the conference right now at nine and two. Florida's ten and one. They're number five in the nation. Auburn's eight and four, and we are going to be taking on no other than our foe, Ole Miss. Uh, they got to come see us, bro. They beat us in football. Now it's time for us to beat up on them in basketball. They're three and eight on a the year. They're not that good. Hopefully, we should be able to come out here and get a dub. I see you boys out there on the court. Let's get it. Now, as you can see here, boys, rivalry game. How we stack up on paper. We're B pluses across the board. They're B plus, A minus B. Take a look at our two key players, Slater and Rose for us. Don't Donye and Curtis for them. All right, boys, here we are at home. Starkville, Mississippi, taking on Ole Miss. Baby, let's get it. You know the vibes. We win the tip. We switched up the starting lineup, as we already talked about. You know what I mean? We got Delkin him in the game. As you see already, he's making an impact, baby. Let's go. They already beat us in football, bro. We got it. We got to take care of business in basketball. Way to not call that, ref. He hit that three. Dog, he just hit that three while being hit in the air. Come on, Rhodes. Hey, let's go. Ten seconds on the shot clock, bro. No, that pass got through. No way. Good defense, bro. We locked up for like 25 seconds there. The small forward receives the ball. Reset, reset. Delk way downtown. You know the vibes. 
Bang! Let's go, baby. Let me get a screen. There it is. That's what we want. Get to the rack, Jamont. Y'all want to see a dead body? Finish. Ah! Get banged on, bitch. Let's go. All right, boys. We got ourselves a game. This is a rivalry. First, first SEC opener is against our rival, bro. And we're we going to play like it. We're on the boards with it. Let's go. Jamont. He got better handle than that, bro. He went to Oak Hill. Oak Hill guards don't not have handle, bro. I can't. Yep, yep. Come on, Barry. I was calling him Bailey a lot last last episode. I don't know why. Good D, Del. Quick hands, baby. Stuart pushing. Way to dump it off. Float piece. Float piece. Let's go. No. Way to force a bad shot. We pushing. You a baby. Excuse me. Thank you. Easy work. Get to the rack. Ah! Oh! Feet up. There we go. Oh, Goodrich, he said get big, boy. Bad pass. Good move, Rimmer. Oh, my goodness. I didn't expect the dunk, but let's go. Lock in. We here. Slide, 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 slide. There we go. Yeah, 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 we here. Ah. We back, we back, we back, we back. Get around that screen, Delk. Get around that screen. He pulling. Good D, y'all. Good D. Good switch. Way to create space, though. I tried to see. The, I tried to let the computer cover there and see see how he was gonna play defense. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get across half. There we go. Let me get one. For the, pick. the screen. The swing. It won. Working around. Excuse me. Let's go. You don't want to let me make my subs. Guess what? We still gonna score. Ass yeah, trap. Here we go. We beat that. We beat that like a case. Let's go. Let's go, Delt. Oh, that's wide. Too easy. Too easy. Let me walk right into that. Let's go. Step, 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 step. Help, help. Close, close. We there. Damn, good pull, bro. We good, we good. Good move, Delt. Good move, Delt. We missed it. He smoked the layup. Going into the locker room, tied up 30 all, bro. Let's go. Oh, my goodness, dog. I thought he made that, bro. We got to be able to finish our layups, man. But let's keep up this momentum. Let's get it. If y'all remember, I've done a series already with Ole Miss in basketball. So I know about I know about this uh, this rivalry, bro, when it comes to basketball. NCAA Basketball 10. Damn, don't you get crazy. Yo, he killed y'all 94 feet, bro. Oh, easy. Ah! They better get back on D. Every time in transition, I promise you. Good D, good D, good D. Sanders ain't playing. Yo, these backdoor cuts is killing us, bro. Can we get rebounds, please, fellas? Damn, bro. <sighs> good defense, baby. Let's go. Good defense out of the timeout. That's the type of energy we got out of the timeout. Yeah, get into this crowd. Let's go. The crowd is loud. I don't know how much y'all can hear it, but they got me hyped. More entry pass, bro. They killing us on the. We gotta go two three. We gotta go two three. They killing us on the same stuff every single time. We gotta go two three. Good move, Rhodes. He get that punched. Dog. We good. We good. We good. We down six. Bro, he just wrote right past. Thank you. He finally missed something, bro. Come with me. Oh, good move by Delp. He just shoots that stupid floater, dog. Need one. Slater on the boards. Let's go. Thank you. That's cool. Make him get back on defense, though. Stewart missing layups, bro. Come on, Barry. I'm about to sub you out, dog. Here's the weak-ass press. Finish, Jamont. Oh, my God. Let's go. Nuts all on your head, bitch. Let's go, boys. They didn't let me jump, bro. There we go. They better get back. They better get back. <laughs> oh, Winnie. There we go. Change up the defense. Little trap action. Too much space, stupid. Too much space, stupid. Let's go, boy. Way to create that space. Come on. Yeah. Good trap. Good trap. Good trap. Good trap. Barry, they told me you could shoot. Good boards, though. He can, He is one of the better shooters on the team after, what's his name, after Delt. Good pull. Get in there. Give me the roll. Come on, Rhodes. Stupid. Let's go. 
We out here, man. Let's get it. See that? Oh, he got it back. Lock in. Hell no, that's off. Oh, they pulling like we not even there. Good move. He missing layups. Come on, bro. Stop that padding, man. Make the damn shot. Yeah. Yeah, Jamon. Yeah. Yeah. Good D. Quick hands, man. Good defense, y'all. Good defense, y'all. Good D. Let's go. Good D. Good D. We can sell. I know I missed that. I didn't miss that, though. I didn't want him to show me how to press, how to trap. I know how to trap. Walk in. Good D, Delk. With me. Come with me. Come with me. Hey! Come on. Lock in. Yeah, none of that. Yeah. Switch it off. There we go. Good defense, y'all. Good D, good D. Up three. It's crunch time right here, bro. Delk. Delk. Feed him. Feed him. The stupid floater. The stupid floater. Oh, we should have stole that. Good deal. Damn. All right. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's be careful here. Stupid. No, just come down with it. There we go. Woo. Good risk playing amazing today, bro. Steal. Ah, come on, Barry. Oh, I need that steal, Jamont. Good deal, y'all. Good deal. No threes, bro. You know they want to go back door. We there for that. Dog. My man off that curl screen is something crazy, bro. No! All that, he lost the ball. Come on, Barry. Good D. Call a timeout, Unk. Call a timeout, Unk. You got a timeout. I was trying to get the ball to Delt to shoot a three. We're going into OT. Number 24 takes the three. Catch the ball first, bro. Literally, the crowd, the crowd noise is all going. And the game is moving super slow out of nowhere. Ooh, that was almost a steal. Good move. Good dunk. I don't know why, why my game sound and everything is gone, but I don't care, bro. We got to still win this game, dog. It's, I hear nothing but like Dick by telling them. Good move by Stewart. Come on, Slater. Let's go! Y'all hear y'all hear the Good D. Good D, bro. We good, we good, we good. Reset, reset. Good step back, boy. I had to try it just because it's in the game. You see the trap. No way! He got to that, dog. Smith for two. Shout 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 to PS2. You know how PS2 will do every now and then. They'll fly, they'll warp to the ball. He rotated, he rotated perfectly right where I was passing the ball. Come on, Stuart. Delt. We need a board. He just, what the heck? He went to dunk it and then dunk it. Dog, I got hold by this game down the stretch. I'm telling you, look how it's moving now. We lose to them again. Damn, dog. We gotta win that game. Piss poor uh, possessions down the stretch and everything, bro. Turnovers killed us, and we missed free throws. Again, players of the game, road 16 and 6. For them, uh, Donye. Donye. I'm not sure you say he had 18 and 4. 70%. He shot 75%. 50% the free throw line though. Uh, I hate that we missed so many. All right, so they beat us by 13 on the on the on the, on the boards. Same amount of assists. We had 17 steals, no blocks. We had less fouls. We had less turnovers, bro. We just didn't hit shots. We shot 46%. Four for 20 from three today. Four for 20 from three. And we were and we were eating inside, but we missed seven freaking free throws. Um, we gave up. 11 offensive boards, 24 defensive boards, bro. We, we didn't we didn't compete. All right, so 10 and 6 for Goodrich, 16 and 6 for Rose, 12 and 2 for Stewart, 13 and 1 for Delt, 9 and 1 for uh Slater, Jamont Gorner, 6 and 2. So like we played well. Like, I'm not mad at anybody on the team for losing this game. Like, we played well. This is a hard fall game. This is what college basketball is about. And we got to see these boys again one more time. All right, boys. So we lost that game to our rival. We're gonna go ahead and uh 
and, and, and sim through some of these games and see what it is, how, how we get things done. Um, I plan on playing most of the teams at least once. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't usually generally like to play, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, both games in the, uh, in the conference tournament and the conference schedule. Um, but you know, we, we start off, we start off SEC play with a loss. Hopefully we can come back against Bama and get a dub. All right, boys. So in this Bama game, we went into the locker room down one. We outscore them by 12 in the second half. We win this game 87, 76. Goodrich had eight, three blocks, 11 boards, 19 for Rose. Uh, Stewart had 13. Delk had seven. Jamont Gordon had 21. Slater with eight off the bench. Remmer was seven. Let's go. All right, boys. So another good game here versus Auburn. They're 10 and four on the season. We're going to go ahead and sim through this game. I do have it on intervention. We're up nine, up eight going into the locker room, and we end up losing the second half, but we do win the game by six. In this Auburn game, we got a double-double from Goodrich with 11 and 12, 17 and eight from Rhodes. Stewart had 15 and eight assists. He was a... Uh, you know, we shot really well from the field, 51% of the team. Delk only had nine points, 23 points for Jamont Gordon as well. I love to see who's who and who does what and who scores the most when we send these games. Because, of course, basketball and baseball are different from football. So many games on the schedule, so of course we're not going to play every single one. All right, boys, and the last game we're going to sim is going to be this game versus Tennessee, who had us down in the first half, bro, but we, we, we exploded in the second half once again. And our bench is what carried us here today um Rimmer with 15 off the bench he also had five fouls so he, he played hard today 13 from Slater 14 from Gordon dealt what was one for four two for nine for Stewart four for nine for Goodrich and Rose they both had nine points um for Tennessee damn Childress killed us Chisholm killed us uh shout out to Chris Lofton he was nasty in college and Smith. So, you know, they're four of their top four of their five starters were in double digits versus, bro. But, like, our, the bench is really what carried us, bro. In, in limited minutes, Jamont Gordon doesn't even play as many minutes as, say, Stewart uh, and, and Goodrich. And, and still, you know, like, he makes the most of his opportunity. Seven for nine from the field. Shout out to him. All right, boys. So, since we are in the month of January on the schedule, we got to come in and check out the rest of what happened in the college football season. First things first, we're going to go ahead and go over our season stats. Nothing really crazy to look at, man. So, Henning ends up with the best QBR. You know what I mean? Barely played. He deserves it. Rutland, uh, 83.6 QBR, 61 for 152, 1,100 yards, four touchdowns, and 20 interceptions. Connor had another nine on a 15 for 49 pass and 336 yards. On the ground, Dixon, 100, 100 rushes, 482 yards. So, we give him another 100 rushes. He's close to being a 1,000-yard rusher, four and a half yards of carry. Only one touchdown this season. We didn't score a lot of touchdowns, period, let alone on the ground. Connor had one. Husband had one. Dixon had one. Receiving-wise, Burks leads us in catches with 17 for 371. No touchdowns. Connor, 16 for 301. No touchdowns. 13 for 260. Two touchdowns for Sanders with a bunch of drop touchdowns. Humphreys, 12 for 187. Two touchdowns. Butler caught a touchdown pass as well. Blocking-wise, um, not a lot of pancakes. Anderson leads us with eight. Uh, we didn't give up as many sacks as I thought we did, honestly. Craig Jenkins gave up eight, though. Six by Brian Anderson, four by Hamilton. Defensively, Culberson led us in tackles with 45, eight for loss, three sacks. Uh, sack leader is going to be him, Johnson, O'Neal with three apiece. Tackle for loss leader is going to be him and O'Neal. Pick leader is going to be David Hurd. He had three picks this season, two for 15, one for Trainee, Bobo, Chambers, Culberson, Glenton, and O'Neal. Uh, Culberson dropped a few as well. We did score some defensive touchdowns this year as well. One for Bobo, one for Pegas, uh, Pegis. I actually finally found out how to say this man's name by watching the highlight of him. And then Quentin Culberson had one as well. Kicking game, I feel bad for Carlson, bro. I suck at making kicks. He was three for five on the year, though. Andrews was two for six, bro. We were just so god-awful. Punting-wise, we did punt the ball a lot. We punted the ball. We punted for 1,600 yards this year, seven inside of 20. Like, we just had to punt so much. 41 punts. You know what I mean? Net yards, 1276. It was insane. As you can see here, boys, the Natty was actually one versus three. Number two, Auburn did not get the nod to be in the Natty. It was Michigan versus LSU. Michigan got the job done. LSU was number one. Michigan was number three. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is just a flip-flop after win, but, you know, Michigan proved they deserve to be. Of course, Auburn is talking crap like, bro, we should have been in there. To, in there, we didn't get a chance and blah, blah, blah. They handle business in their bowl game. Texas beat Miami. 
Um, so, you know, some here's some more notable bowl games. Auburn, I mean, Alabama played Ohio State. Ohio State won that. Uh, but I mean, uh, Florida beat uh, Maryland. Utah beat uh, Houston. You know, USC beat Purdue, so forth and so on. Let's take a look at the final top 25. Oh, also recruiting. Derek O'Neill, we didn't get him. He, uh, we lost him to Texas. Final top 25, Michigan, Auburn, Texas, LSU, USC, Utah, Florida, Boise State, Penn State, Arizona State, Louisville, Boston College, Texas Tech, Washington State, Notre Dame, uh, Oregon, the U, West Virginia, Bum SU, Bama, Ohio State, Tennessee, Iowa, Oklahoma, Cal. Heisman winner is going to be Jason Hill, wide receiver from Washington State. 87 catches, 1,431 yards, 18 total touchdowns. His last game that he played, 5 for 101 in the TD, followed by Kenny Irons from Auburn. Colt McCoy finished third as a true as a freshman, freshman. Excuse me, Alex Brink, the quarterback of Hill, finishes fourth. And then Mike Hart from Michigan finishes fifth. With a pretty solid season, I might add. But he did get the national championship. Colt Brennan wins uh, the Maxwell Award. Those are 5,000 yards, 58 touchdowns. Rest in peace, Colt Brennan. Um, the Benderick goes to Greg Trent. The best quarterback, of course, goes to Colt Brennan. The um, Dope Walker goes to Kenny Irons. Best wide receiver, the Belitnikov goes to um, Ryan Grice Mullen. Best tight end goes to Joe John Finley from Oklahoma. Best on lineman goes to Justin Britt. The Remington goes to Marcus Coleman. Lombardi goes to William Beckford out of Rutgers. Wow, that's actually pretty dope. Shout out New Jersey. Best linebacker, you know what I mean? Uh, Dick Buckus Award, I believe it is, goes to Greg Trent from Washington State. They had a great day. I mean, a great season. Paul uh, Puzl Puzlunski, he was a beast in college, bro. That's when uh, Penn State was regarded as best li as linebacker. You, Eric Brock wins the Thorpe. Uh, Penn State's Kevin Kelly wins the Groza. Best punter goes to Taylor Oder Odegaard um, from USC. Best returner goes to Jason Hill from Washington. So that's probably what propelled him to win that Heisman is the fact that he was a good returner. And then Boise State's quarterback wins the coach of the year. As you guys could probably guess, we don't have any All-Americans as we go through the first team All-American. And then we're going to go through the second team All-American. You know what I mean? None of us, nobody on our team did, did well enough. And then even freshman All-American, we are not going to have anybody on the list as we quickly go through those. Even when it comes to all SEC, bro, I doubt we have anybody here, except for maybe somebody on the defense and definitely not on the first team. Here we are coming over to the second team and we do not have any all-conference performers there either. For football, we are officially in the off-season. Take a look at the off-season schedule. We got some things to go over, but like I said, we will slowly but surely trickle down and get those things, you know what I mean, implemented as we go through the rest of the athletic schedule. Uh, but for now, we got the rest of the basketball season to take care of. Just took a heartbreaking loss to Ole Miss, man, but we handled business after that. I really think that we're gonna be in the tournament, bro. We got a chance to win the SEC, but you know, we got a tough team like Florida in front of us, who in real life did uh, win back-to-back -back titles in the game that I'm playing, bro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your Uncle Sam's Reject, rkgames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey. <laughs> Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block gon' get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody.